people make claims that each time you burn your car units at the beginning of the month, you get more units. I think this is not really true because all domestic customers are entitled to a subsidy of 15 units once a month. Now, the understanding of once a month in Mumeme setting is that from the time the customer's account was set up over Yaka, we start counting the month. So it's not a calendar month. If your account was set up on 5th, your month begins on 5th. If yours was set up on 17th, it begins about then. So therefore, it's not true that if you account, if you buy units of Yaka at the beginning of the month, the first or second of the month, you get more units. So this is how it actually happens. There's also the issue of people claiming that when I get 10,000 shillings and I buy Yaka units at the beginning of the month, 10,000 shillings will give me more units than when I buy the same amount of money for units of Yaka later on in the month. But the calculation is actually very simple. And I request you to look at what I have on the board and we'll see how this is done. So let us assume that I have 10,000 shillings at the beginning of the month, my calendar month, or the month that Umeme is talking about in the middle of the month. I have 10,000 shillings, I want to buy tokens of Yaka. These are the deductions that are made. Of the 10,000 shillings that you bring, government removes 18% as VAT, which translates to 1,800 shillings that will be deducted from the 10,000 shillings that you have bought. Then there is something called a standard service fee, which every domestic customer is expected to pay once a month. And broadly speaking, it's about 3,600 shillings, which is deducted once a month. Then there's something called the lifeline units. Now, every domestic customer benefits from a subsidy of the first 15 units. And the intention behind this was to help this ordinary person who would be using uh, paraffin lights in the village, Tadova. So, the thinking is that such a person, if he got money to pay for 15 units, those 15 units would be enough to subsist on for the whole month because there's a subsidy that is placed on the 15 units. Now, those units will be paid for at a subsidized rate of 250 for the 15 units as opposed to the normal tariff for the domestic, which is probably about 791 shillings. This is what I'm talking about. The 15 units, which every domestic account is entitled to, you will buy them at 250 shillings, translating to 3,750 shillings. So if we remove the money we spent on VAT, we remove the service fee, and we now add the 3,750 for the first 15 units of Yaka that we have paid for, we shall actually be left with a balance of slightly above 800 shillings, which translates into the first 10,000 shillings you pay, giving us 16 units. Now, let us assume that these 16 units, you bought them at the beginning or the first week of the month, and the units run out after 15 days or 17 days, and you have to buy the same amount of money for more units of Yaka. This is how the calculation is done. The subsequent 10,000 shillings that you will pay, we shall remove that, which is government money, which translates to 1,800 shillings. We shall be left with a balance of 8,200 shillings. Now, because service fee is paid once a month, and the subsidy per domestic account is derived once a month, there will be no more deduction. The remaining money, we shall use it to offset the cost of a normal unit at the full price. Meaning, therefore, that the subsequent 10,000 shillings will give us only 10 units. And yet, the first 10,000 shillings gave us 16,000, gave us 16 units. This explains why for 10,000 shillings, you can get 
16 units and if you make a subsequent purchase for the same amount of money you get only 10 units fair and square there is no complex process involved in it that's how simple it is the deductions are made and one can easily verify them